This is Josiah Plays Sunless Sea. We're at Mount Palmerston. We've just had a nice chat with the Wistful Devilus. Now we're going to try our luck with a little digging among the ruins. 60% chance of success. We have just saved. If it goes badly, you know what I'm going to do. So, what did I get? I got two Zoop. Five Terror. A memory of distant shores and lost two supplies. Not sure that that's really that great, honestly. Of course, soup is pretty expensive. So yeah, I guess it is good. Hold capacity 115 out of 120. That's not good. My hold is so full, and I barely have room for any sub any fuel or, or... That's not good. Devilesses with codependency issues are cutest and the best. Yeah, well, I, I've always felt that way. Right. Gambold. What's going on with my... Hold on a second. I don't think I reset my timer from recording from the last episode. Okay. Anyway. Let's uh, gambold. I'm a little concerned about my hold space versus amount of fuel and supplies I can get situation. This is the max I can carry right now. Eight fuel and five supplies. I mean, that is not very many. You like the turtleneck the Nacreous Survivor has got on? Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty dope. All right, let's see. Which, which officers do I want to equip? Let's see. What, do, what am I lacking? My iron is kind of sad right now, and my veils are kind of sad. So, as far as first officers go, we can use her with eight iron, three veils, one hearts. Now that's a lot of iron. Okay, now we need we need us some pages, but I don't think any of my people... He gives plus two to pages. Plus three to pages. Okay, and then I've got to think about my chief engineer. Veils, mirrors, minus one hearts, veils and fuel efficiency, veils and engine power. Ooh. Okay, I think I like her. And then for my mascot, hearts, veils, iron, tons of hearts. Okay, we got to stick with her then. Gunnery officer. Six iron, three veils, or eight iron. Should probably go with her. I've never actually had to sacrifice crew for fuel or supplies. I don't even know how it works. I, I stand against it in principle. I am not a person who sacrifices his crew. I am not that person. All right, I think I'm good with these officers right here. I've bought everything I can buy. My hold is full. Time to leave. Okay, I'm bold. Too much booty in the hold. All right, I got to go to Empire of Hands now. So I can trade off the stuff for the stuff. Trade for the coffee beans. Hopefully I have enough fuel and supplies just to get to Empire of Hands and back to Mount Palmerston. I'm actually a little bit concerned. I don't sacrifice, they just run overboard. Like if crew members get themselves killed through various means of their own doing, I, there's nothing I can do about it. I tell them safety first, but they don't listen. 
But, uh... I don't willingly sacrifice any crew members. I think I'm gonna have problems, actually. I'm gonna have big problems. I can get to Empire of Hands, but I'm not gonna have enough fuel and supplies to get back to Mount Palmerston. This isn't good. This isn't good at all. I don't know what to do about this. I need to turn the damn light off, first of all. Terror be damned. When you're about to run out, you can sacrifice a crew member for fuel or eat them. Eat, you can really eat them? Oh my god. How does sacrificing a crew member for fuel work? Like, narratively. We might make it back. We might make it back. Alright. I'm gonna save on... One... Fort Stanton, Shore Leave, Civilized Mayor. Anything new, Civilized Mayor? Oh, I could get ex Oh my god, 60 echoes per barrel. Fuck no. Or 20 echoes for supplies. Port report. Can I do anything involving the Zeppelin right now? No. Okay. Can I go to anything I can do on Fountainhead Island now? No. Okay. What about Hearthsake? Oh, I could go poison the cannibals now. What about that crewman you let on board that was a Kai Grandmaster that you made walk the plank? You meant Storm, not Stone. You could sacrifice to... Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, should I go kill some cannibals? I think I will. Travel to Hearthsake Village. Dine at the captain's table. All are welcome to share the pirate's wealth, provided they have the stomach for it and the table manners. Because I have the cannibal... Menace, I can do that. I could also join a raid on the Empire of Hands. Presumably for additional supplies. But no, let's poison the cannibal pirates. The leader's toast guarantee that they will all at least drink some wine. This vintage will have a particular kick. Cost me... Well, I guess it doesn't cost me anything. I just have to have some stuff. Alright, here we go. A toast. An evening of careful abstinence. A toast! Bellows the boisterous pirate, leading a new round of quaffing from atop the table. To the good captain, and to her enduring majesty! May we each drink and be merry, for tomorrow we... His face freezes. His grip on the mug slips. His legs fall limp and he crashes down onto the table. The wood cracks. Bone cutlery flies. He lies gray-faced, staring you in the eye with a dying look, born out not out of hate, but of the deepest disappointment. Envoys from the Wild Weed Court are soon at the scene to collect the supplies and burn down the village. Nice. Well, fuck these pirates, honestly. can also wound yourself and sacrifice the stone. Oh, wow. Lots of options, apparently. Alright, so I now have 60 Zeppelin supplies. That's great. This quality has gone up to 99. I used up one thing of wine for that. That's okay. Uh, let's check on the Zeppelin now. So the Zeppelin... is at 60. And it needs to be 100. It's full on souls. And it's at 40 out of 100 fuel, but I can keep bringing hydrogen from the Iron Republic for fuel. Okay. Let's, uh... Man, I can't even travel to that island now. <gasps> Does that mean I can't ever see the monster? The, the... Oh, no. 
Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Hold on. Wait. 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 Do I completely lose access to the treasure hunter guy if I do that? Because it kind of seems like I completely lose access to the treasure hunter guy if I do that. Which maybe I shouldn't do until after I've gotten his map at least. Oh yeah, and this is a really good thing to be able to do as well. Trading Tales of Terror for Z stories. Oh, Searing Enigma for his map. See, I don't want to do this right now, but I want to keep the option open. This I kind of want to do. I don't think I should poison these people yet. Don't think I should poison him yet. So Because it seems like if I poison them I lose access to him. Restore back to before you became a cannibal. I'm afraid that ship has sailed. No pun intended. What happens if I dine at the captain's table? No, I shouldn't. I shouldn't. All right, let's let's go to the wild wheel court. The imperial cartographer works with uncommon fervor to create and compile maps for the court. Oh, <gasps> I just gained five Z. That's amazing. That was just free five Z stories. A collector of maps, the monkeys have long sought to escape their island prison. It is the Imperial Cartographer's jobs to prepare for their success, a task hardly made easier by the regular alterations of the Unterzee. Maps of every configuration are spread out over his walls, in the forlorn hope that their consistencies will provide a measure of clarity. This would be more likely if not for his habit of idly filling gaps by penciling in variably obscene <laughs> doodles on the grounds that his seniors will never be able to call his bluff. Those don't sound like the most reliable maps. Alright. So that's pretty funny. Um, anything going on in the silent gallery? No. Okay. What's up, delightful adventurous? I could still buy tomatoes to throw at her, but the chance is bad. Um, let's trade with the Wild Wheeled Court. This is the thing we actually came here to do. Oh, wait a minute. Gift of Red Honey. Yeah, you told me about that. I could get a pot of Violant Ink. I want Violant Ink. It's so hard to come by, muses the Mandarin idly, fondling a pot of rare Violant Ink. A pity. The exquisite Seneschal is known to have uses for it. Alright, let's do this. A deliberate accident. Did you pick up the pot of violent ink instead of the honey you were showing to him? How clumsy. At least you have the perfect substance, should you feel the urge to write a polite apology note at some later date. Lost my firkin of red honey. Highly profitable, if you have no principles. Gained a pot of violent ink. Violant. The color of necessary, but troublesome connections. According to other traditions, the color of blood shed in a spired place. It's very hard to forget anything you've written in Violent Ink. Cool. Does that take up hold space? Does that take up hold space? It doesn't. Glorious. Alright, hold on. Trading. Gifts of wine. Here we go. We gotta click this like 89 times. Trading gifts of wine. Yeah, we're trading gifts of wine. Trading gifts of wine. Yeah, we're trading gifts of wine. Trading gifts of wine. I can't think of a good line. But we're trading gifts of wine. 
Yeah, we're trading gifts of wine. Trading gifts of wine. It's like a big ball of twine. Trading gifts of wine. I don't know how it's like twine. Trading gifts of wine. Yeah, we're trading gifts of wine. Trading gifts of wine. We're gonna reticulate some splines. That doesn't make sense. Trading gifts of wine. Yeah, we're trading gifts of wine. Trading gifts of wine. It takes forever and it makes me whine about it. Trading gifts of wine. Yeah, we're trading gifts of wine. Trading gifts of wine. Upon the foamy Z brine. That was from Nox Moo. Trading gifts of wine. Amusingly, slant rhymes with slant rhyme. What? That was from Saito. Trading gifts of wine. Yeah, we're trading gifts of wine. Trading gifts of wine. Yeah, we're trading gifts of wine. Something, 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 sign. Something, 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 tine. Something, 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 pine. Something, something, something. A slant rhyme. A rhyme formed by words which have imperfect assonance. Like wine and time. Ah, right. Where they sound similar, but they actually don't rhyme perfectly because it's like one has an N and one has an M. Okay, we're finally done with that. And... I just lost two echoes. Okay. You can feel the eyes on you as you slowly trudge around court on your inefficient human legs, constantly being pinched and poked and having your pockets picked. There is no shame in it for the apes, not even the one you catch in the act. It just spits in your face and scampers off, making rude gestures. A pair of mandarins shake their heads at their low-souled brethren for their lack of ambition as much as anything else. I don't mind losing two echoes. I can, I can live with that. Alright, I think we're done here. We're not going to poison the people yet because... Because I'm concerned about doing so. I don't want to lose access to the treasure hunter guy right now. You can poke around the shore, I guess. Oh, yeah, nothing awaits me, though, so that's not going to do anything. Okay. Let's now see if we can actually make it back. Save on 11. If we can actually make it back to uh, Mount Palmerston before running out of fuel and or supplies. Turn the light off. That's for damn sure. We cannot afford to burn the light right now. I think there's a decent chance we'll make it back. O'Keefe's Drift. The crew, particularly the extra four crew members, look nervously at one another. <laughs> uh, we got this. We're fine. We're not going to have to sacrifice anybody. We got this. We are fine.
can also wound yourself if you don't want to be evil. Well, I'm willing to be somewhat evil. Wait, I can do this again? Really? Interesting. I know I just literally just saved and now I'm saving again and nothing's even changed. There was I just wanted to make sure in case the first save didn't take for some reason. All right, let's try this again. Why the hell not? Well, I mean, other than the fail part. Obviously the fail part needs to be redacted. I ain't trying to fail. Seriously? 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 Come on. It's not like it's that hard to make a 31%. It's 31 times more likely than to make a 1% if you think about it. Hmm. Come on. Alright, I'm only gonna try one more time. This time I'm gonna actually do it or else I'm just gonna... Reload and not even do it. Damn it. Fine. We're not- we're skipping it. We're skipping it. We're not even doing it. What happens if I just go visit? An awkwardness. The message from the devil is still nestles in your pocket. Yeah. Two cups of tea. She pours you each a cup of tea. She asks after the weather in London. Dank, probably. She doesn't mes mention the message. Okay. Well, not much happened here. Alright, let's, let's just buy the supplies we need and get out of here. So, I have 10 hold capacity. That's all I can do for now, I guess. Now we go to Irem. I don't think I have to worry about terror this journey. Right now, at the at the moment, I don't think I'm too worried about it. This is a very fancy looking rock over here. Strain puff of warmth from the air behind the ice. This is the pillared sea, where Irem will lie, lies, has always lain. Carlisle's Haven. Belinda Carlisle? Ooh, heaven is a place on earth. <laughs> Why? Why did I just... Okay. How's that whole awaiting me thing going? There we go. For some reason, those roses always remind you of the ectoplasm from Ghostbusters 2 bursting out of the environment. Why am I drippings with goo? Fucking Ghostbusters 2 was great. Alright, port reports. I think we will go to the House of the Amber Sky. I enjoy going there. Even though it costs one of my coffee things. Rest, recover, and dream. 
I'm going to get two memories of Distant Shores out of it, and minus 20 tear, and 10 fragments. House of the Rising Sun. There is a place in New Orleans. They call the Rising Sun. Is that the House of the Rising Sun you're talking about? I mean, my butchery of the song not worth, notwithstanding. Uh, House of the Amber Sky. Yeah, okay, let's just do our business here. Dark Drop Coffee Beans. I got 88 of them for sale. Coffee Beans for sale. That's right, Coffee Beans for sale. Ha 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 ha. Coffee Beans for sale. That's right, I got Coffee Beans for sale. It's house in New Orleans. Not place. I like it better as place. I mean, house is kind of on the nose since house is already in the title. I guess it makes sense that way, though. All right. So if I were to were to desire, so I could. If I had a phantasmal encounter, 1980 or 1890, whatever, Captain, whatever, I could sell it for two secrets. I wonder where you get that. Wow, you can sell a captivating treasure for 50 fuel. Hmm, 50 fuel. That's not that much, actually. Dread Surmise. Tales of Terror. Memory of... See here, I can... I can... Get memories of distant shores with those visions of the surface. And then take those and get um, Tales of Terror with them, and I can use Tales of Terror to get Z-Stories. I mean, I can kind of trade stuff around here. Searing Enigma. Oh, here's where I get my Searing Enigmas. I buy one for five Extraordinary Implications. I can buy Extraordinary Implications for 333 Echoes apiece. So functionally, that's like 1,500... 1650, 1665, 1665 echoes to buy a Searing Enigma straight out, which actually doesn't sound that expensive to me now that I have like 20k. Um, and then secrets for a thousand apiece. Wow. I'm gonna need so many secrets. Like a disgusting number of secrets. A horrible, heartbreaking number of secrets. Hey, didn't I need strange catches for something? I did. Of course, I can't afford to buy anything. I can't buy anything that's going to take up more hold space right now. I'm barely going to be able to make it home with the um, with the supplies and fuel room that I have. So I guess we're done here. Guess we're done here. Um, fight the Eater of Names. I don't even know where to find the Eater of Names. I've never seen the Eater of Names. Alright, so let's just take a look at the map real quick. So what am I doing? I'm heading back to London via Port Cecil 
and all those places, right? So I'll just go to Palmerston, we'll resupply, we'll go down to Port Cecil. Okay, that's fine. It's near the Chelinate. Back to Palmerston yet again. We visit Port Palmerston a lot. It's a good place. Big volcano, cheap stuff. My BSR strategy? What is my BSR strategy? What does BSR stand for? Time, let's explore the island and see what we get. Brave Sir Robin! <laughs> bravely ran away, away. When danger reared its ugly head, he bravely tucked his tail and fled. Oh, a Blemigan colony. This is new. At the heart of a salty little bog, you come upon a pulsing mound of Blemigans. They are a rich dark purple, like viscera, perhaps, or blackberries. They chitter as they swarm. The sound is like pebbles on a beach. Be careful. A single Blemigan is a nuisance. A hundred are a calamity. I can assault the colony. Repulsive creatures, take what you can. 69% chance. I can observe the colony. Fascinating creatures, learn what you can. 62% chance. I kind of feel like I should observe. Let's see if I can succeed at this. I succeeded! Yay! A complex situation. They do resemble the fruiting bodies of fungus. The mound itself looks fungal. Are they the same organism? And they communicate and cooperate. You watch as they drag a marsh rat up the side of the mound, bickering over the disposition of its flesh. And you watch as a half dozen stand on top of the mound, listening respectively to the chittering of a seventh. It's improbably reminiscent of a poetry recital. You take notes. Oh, cool, I got 50 fragments. Wow. Mount Palmerston, hell of a place. Crazy shit goes on here. Alright, let's, um... Get a couple supplies. And the rest in fuel. We'll save and we'll get out of here. We'll head for Port Cecil next. The they don't use the word calamity enough anymore? I agree. Calamity's a great word. Hell of a place, or a place for hell? Both. Let me turn my lights off. Port Cease. Oh. Can I resupply in Port Cecil? Yeah, I can. You think Donald Trump thinks refugees are members of the Brimstone Convention? Oh, yeah. I can't believe he said- Oh, No, I don't- No, I ain't got time to mess with that right now. Um, I can't believe he said that the fucking... Refugees... Were gonna be a, uh, a recruiting pool for terrorism. Yeah, cause that's who's gonna become terrorists. People who come from from war-torn countries to our country and are given asylum here and, and taken in, those are the people that are going to want to become terrorists against us. That makes fuck-tons of sense. Ow. I just ran into the dock. 
That makes tons of sense. Alright, can I do anything new with the extra move thing? I can't, okay. Can I gather intelligence? I can. I don't have hold space to gather Syntelac, so I'm not going to. Let's explore the knoll around Port Cecil, though. Oh, an auroral rupture again. I don't remember what happened the last time I did this. Pretty curious about this, though. Looking into the light. Curiosity is deadlier than any number of sharks. Failed. Gain 10 tear. Well, that's not good. Curiosity is deadlier than any number of sharks. We're looking into the light. Oh. Well, that's kind of shitty. 20 fragments for 10 terror. The radiance to the southwest is white gold like a surface morning. There is warmth on your face. Your eyes water. Your skin stings and tingles. You catch a glimpse of geometries in the heart of it. Complex, faceted shapes that reconfigure like the wheels of an orrery. The light fades suddenly. Men and women cry out, curse. One weeps. There's always that one that's weeping. Every time anything happens, one of my fucking people is weeping. It's Cuba Gooding Jr. Nox Moo supports Hitler, huh? Seems legit. No one can argue with your reasoning. There's definitely no fallacies there. What if we do this? Oh, this is much better. Memory of distant shores, I want that. One weeps again. It's always that one. That weepy fucker. All right. Let's go. From here, we'll uh, hit the Salt Lions, Shepherd Isles. Can I supply in Shepherd Isles? Yeah, I can. The, at the standard 20-30. I see you, creature up there. Whatever you are. The Chitranic Lobe. That's the part of your brain responsible for you chatting. Yeah, if you're, if you're talking in the chat right now, you're using your Chitranic Lobe. Everybody knows that. Ich bin ein Mühliner. <laughs> Deciding between the Democrats and the Republic House. Nice. Well, I don't like any of them. I don't like any of them. Shepherd Isles. I think Trump getting elected would be a fucking calamity. I'd rather see practically anyone else become president than Trump. I'd rather they let Jeffrey Dahmer or Charles Man- I think he's dead, actually. Or Charles Manson, who also might be dead, out of prison and erect them president than fucking Trump. Then you're an N.D. Pen dance. <laughs> I see what you did there, Nox Moo, and it was pretty clever. 
Shepherd, 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 Isles of the Isles of the Shepherd. From here, we go straight to the light ship and then to London. So I really shouldn't need to buy any supplies here. You say that, Saito, but these are the kind of things that happen. Everybody's like, oh, he's not going to get elected. And then all of a sudden he does. And we're just fucked. We're a laughing stock internationally. He's the least presidential man. I mean, ugh. Just, ugh. Ooh, should I trade a hunting trophy for a long box? Hmm. Alright, I think we're doing three graves. Because you get a Tale of Terror and a Z story for it, which is pretty awesome. Oh yeah, you're Canadian, so you don't care. Life is good. You don't have to live in this country with Trump as the president. I might have to move to your country if Trump becomes president. Alright, let's go. I'm not going to buy any supplies. I don't think I need to. I don't have very many, but I'm not going very far. Maybe I should have. Oh well, we'll find out. I don't think I want to try to fight that right now. We're going to head through the Fosgene Bleaks. I should have bought some supplies. Danger, danger, Will Robinson. Having a man baby in the White House would be bad for everyone. Yeah, you have a good point there. live right next door. That's true. You know, you don't want somebody ridiculously terrible moving in right next to you. Even if they're not living in your house, you still don't want them living right next door. It's going to cause problems for you. Alright, speak to the crew. Give me another Z story. Thank you, thank you. Let's go. I think I have enough. I'm down to one supplies, but it's just right here. London's just right here. I made it. And my terror is not even that bad. Alright, here we are. We return to London. We're going to save immediately. Not really any sort of fence that can protect against the uh, nukes, yeah. Yeah, they're kind of a problem. Nightmares have gone up to four. Wow, I'm really nightmare-y. Messages from the Harbor Master. Alright, let's just get all this crap out of my inventory. Or out of my, out of my, yeah, out of my hold first. So we're going to sell... Parabola Linen. Let's see, we've got 19,662. Linen for sale. That's right, I got linen for sale. Linen for sale. That's right, I got linen for sale. Oh, so much money. 24.9. I almost have 25,000 echoes. By the time I turn in port reports, I'll definitely be over 25,000. That is super cool. Alright. Um. Or is it super cool? 
Oh yeah, we've got some clay men. Alright, so he, the scholar, wants to give me some free supplies. A dread surmise. Seven searing enigmas get you a dread surmise, but then the scholar becomes permanently unavailable. That's not good. Intriguing snippets. Extraordinary implications, strange cats, lamentable relics. Unread logs, outlandish artifacts. So the captivating treasure, I might as well just sell it to him. Or her. Or them. Oh, interesting. I can sell brimstone buzzings to the scholar as well. I mean, I'm not going to. I'm going to take him to the... Yeah, so the gun we're talking about is the D is the damnation for fifteen hundred aft weapon. Speak not of it. That seems like it'd be a pretty good thing to have. All right, let's buy one. Can I switch what's on my ship anytime I want? Like while I'm fl while I'm sailing around out there, or does or do I have to be in port? The Diplomat, the Roser's Wharf. Hmm, I don't know that I should sell those things. No, I'm definitely not going to do that. I'm not actually sure. Well, we'll find out in a minute. Deliver the Clay Men, 120 Echoes there. And do we get a new officer? No. Okay. Let's go to the Brass Embassy. Sell the Creative Human Souls. Wait, can I just buy Crates of Human Souls right here? For 63? How much do they give me for them? Red Honey. All right, let's pass on. Let's 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 just save again real quick on 10. Pass on my independent verification. It doesn't mean much to you, but perhaps it will to your interlocutor. A traitor. How interesting and unfortunate. This directly contradicts the Devilus's information. Oh, I didn't realize that really was, like, betraying her. Actually, no, I don't want to do that then. I'm on, I'm on Team Devilus. I want to be on her side. Well, treachery is to be expected. I wish you hadn't been so gauche about it, but that's the Brimstone Convention for you. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna roll that the fuck back. It's not worth a hundred echoes to cross the Devilus out. Instead, I'll sell it to the Scholar then. See, Nox Mood Josiah knows what's up. Do I? Do I know what's up? I've been told that I know what's up before. Pass on the Devilus' second message to the Urbane Devil. The Urbane Devil waits with a friendly smile that exposes his neat white teeth. Incendiary material. He reads the letter and emits a long, low whistle that resonates oddly in the metal fittings and gives you the faintest tingle of toothache. There are some very senior names here. Very senior indeed. She wants to come home, eh? Well, either she's telling us straight, in which case Brimstone will have her baked in a pie, or she's trying to swindle us, in which case, well, I'd like her here so I can warm up my own pie oven. Either way, yes, the time has come. Bring her here, will you? We'll pay her fair. Thank you so much. You've advanced the cause of hell today. Yeah, see, this doesn't sound good. I hope when I get, go back to see her again that I can tell her that they intend her ill will if she comes back so that she doesn't come back. 
So I'm not going to pass on the independent verification. I'm going to give that to the scholar. Brimstone buzzing is a terrifying tidbit. Pop-eyed surprise. This, well, I wouldn't say it confirms, but I suppose it supports. And I thought the Department of Internal Rarefactions were all stark raving mad. Thank you. Thank you indeed. I'm sorry our budget isn't larger. Uh, alright. Gained a fragment and 120 echoes, and my favor's antiquarian is increasing. Alright, I guess I'll sell the captivating treasure to the scholar. Because Saito tells me there's nothing else useful I can do with it. So I'm just trusting that Saito is not lying to me. Captivating treasure. I don't need that for any of the more any of the other things in my in my study, do I? Go to my lodgings, read the morning papers, time with the family, enjoy their company. Lodging, study. The anatomical com I just need I need to know where to get a couple of lamentable relics. And I need a live specimen. And I need a bunch more outlandish artifacts. And I need some more strange catches. Only if you want to make heirlooms. Yeah, I don't want to make heirlooms. So Okay. In that case, here you go, alarming scholar. Shiny, and you polished it before you brought it in, so it's even shinier today. Glinting eyes. Oh my. Teeth bared in a hungry grin. There's something odd about those teeth, as if there were too many of them. This will make quite a dent in my acquisitions budget, but worth it, I think. Yes, worth it. All right, cool. Gained a thousand echoes. Nice. Now then. In addition to those things, I'm going to... Just make sure I'm not missing out on anything. I wonder if I should repair my hull. I probably should. If I, especially if I'm going to go try to get in fights and shit. Let's see. 75 echoes. 100 echoes. 25 echoes. But that also takes favors. Uh, let's manual save on 11... Let's see the 75 Echo one and see how much... It should repair me to full. Last time I did it, it repaired a whole bunch, but I don't remember. Yeah, see, I got 240 hull for 75 Echoes, so that's no problem. All shall be well! All shall be well, and all manner of things shall be well. Probably. Alright. So, in our next episode, I will go see the Admiral. I will turn in all the stuff to him, the port reports and everything else. And then we'll decide what to do from here but that's going to do it for this one so thank you for watching this has been josiah plays sunless sea